Hey guys, Deju22 here, and welcome to the main event of SmackDown. The main event, as well as the entire show, has been brought to you by Insomania Game, MuchGames.ca, and the Sovereign LPers. And I'll tell you one thing, we now have Justin Gabriel, who is defending for the first time since winning it in a Rumble for the Gold, the Light Heavyweight Championship. And for him, uh, this is a big test. Considering, you know, it, he only just won it, so, and already he has to defend it. I mean, we saw Booker T defend the 24-7 the championship, and look what happened. The great Khali took it, and he never looked back. I'll tell you one thing, great Khali was just on fire. I mean, there was nothing even I could do about it, but other than that, though, I mean, I, I gave the man my best shot. And here's a guy that's going to have his shot at the light heavyweight championship, and that is Unico. So yeah, Unico has a big opportunity for him to win. And of course the fans don't like this uh, Unico, but you know what? Unico as a, is a very accomplished wrestler everywhere else he's been of course he wasn't given much uh, of an opportunity in the WWE but you know what he's got, an, he's got one right here and we're gonna see what he's made of as he, go, as he goes up against the champion and one other challenger and that man, well, you'll see who it is in just a moment. Yes, Pikachu is in this match, and uh, once again, he's out of retirement, and uh, I mean, that's the thing about Pikachu, he really keeps himself in good shape, I mean, he looks more or less the same as he did now, as he did 15, 20 years ago, man, it's insane, of course, uh, of course he did have, he did have to lose some weight, uh, in, at least in order to, you know, move as quickly as he did when he was younger. So obviously with age, you know, your, your joints don't work as well as they used to. But it, it does help when you lose some weight. And uh, it definitely takes a lot of pressure off of the joints. Um, especially when you get old. But hey, who am I to say old? Anyway, match underway as we have a Hurricane Rana DDT on the Pikachu to begin the matchup. And now Unico already goes after the champion, Gabriel. And Pikachu just going to stand there and wait for someone to come to him. A Dragon Screw on to Gabriel. No, now it looks like Pikachu is going to go after Unico. And in fact, both men are going after Unico. A double gut buster, and also this match is a special match because it is a first blood elimination match, and that is simply all three of these men are going to fight each other as long as it takes, but it will end when, when two of the three men are busted open bleeding, and the last man not bleeding 
And the one man not bleeding, I should say, is the winner. So he has to make both of his opponents bleed. And thrown over the top rope is Uniku. And then a drop kick sending him uh, onto the floor. But just like that, Pikachu goes right after him. A sleeper slam onto uh, on a Justin Gabriel. And now Uniko has a chair. Well, I'm not sure what Pikachu was going to do, but... Elbow right to the head of Justin Gabriel. Oh, a nice power slam on to uh, Justin Gabriel. Oh, now... And now a couple of blows right to the body of uh, Pikachu. That'll definitely soften him up. And, oh, nice counter to ram the heads of both Unico and Justin Gabriel together. Uh, and a nice innovative uh, hip toss onto uh, Justin Gabriel and then a chop block onto Unico. And an arm ringer flip onto Unico. And a scoop and a slam right to Pikachu. And then a Hurricane Rana DDT on a Pikachu. A nice body splash onto a Pikachu, man. Oh, but Pikachu fights back. And a Hurricane Rana on a Pikachu. And, um, okay. Thrown over the top rope is Unico. But then a hip toss right back inside the ring is Unico. And another Hurricane Rana onto uh, Pikachu. And then a running elbow on a Pikachu. And then a back elbow onto Pikachu. Oh, and a leg breaker, a modified knee breaker on the Pikachu. And then a leg breaker. So they're definitely going after the legs. I mean, that if, that's, if anything, uh, that could be the one thing that can slow down Pikachu. And whipped into the corner, and then a running elbow. Uh, or rather, it's a running forearm. Excuse me. Ooh, got a little bit of gas here. And a backbreaker on a Unico. And a neck snap, shades of Mr. Perfect. And a head scissors takedown on a Pikachu. And now Gabriel just gonna beat the crap out of Pikachu. And Unico, well, Unico didn't get all of it, though. He, uh, he barely grazed uh, Pikachu. And a snap suplex on to Pikachu. And a couple more fists right to the face of Pikachu. Oh, nice STO on to, uh, on a Unico. And, um, okay, that was kind of weird. But then a drop kick on a Pikachu. And then a, a kick to the leg of Pikachu. A back suplex on the Pikachu, and Pikachu's getting double teamed. And now Unico has that chair, which is completely legal. 
And, well, he didn't quite hit anybody with it. Oh, and he hits Pikachu with that chair. And thrown over the top rope is Pikachu. And, well, taken down is Pikachu by Unico. And, yeah, they're definitely going after Pikachu. They, I guess they figured that Pikachu is the threat in there. And as they should, I mean, Pikachu's a, you know, a, a major threat in most uh, matches. An elbow and a leg drop on to Unico. And then a back elbow, and then an STO onto Unico. Thrown over the top rope. And down goes uh, Unico. And, well, and then a drop kick onto Pikachu. And a couple of clubbing blows right to uh, Pikachu. Can we focus the camera, please? There we go. And then a, a, an elbow onto uh, Pikachu. And now Unico, what's he doing? And then a suplex onto the floor on a Pikachu. All oh, but Pikachu counters, throwing uh, Gabriel into those, uh, into the barricade. I mean, what, really, what more can they do to Pikachu? Oh, and a spear right through the barricade on the Pikachu. And now... Pikachu just getting, yeah, Pikachu just got busted open with those uh, punches, and now we're down to the champion and Unico. So Pikachu is out of the match. Oh, nice move by uh, Unico. And, um, okay, I don't know what Unico was trying to do. But, uh, yeah, Unico and... Uh, and Gabriel, they played it smart, especially against a very tough Pikachu. And now Unico drop kick onto the champion. And then a drop kick. Okay, so we had a little bit of technical difficulties, but you didn't really miss much. There we go. Thankfully, it was only minor, though. All right, whipped into the corner is uh, Gabriel, the champion. And now Unico, what's he doing? A back suplex on a, on a Gabriel. Now he picks up Gabriel. And a head scissors takedown that busted him open. So that means that Unico, for the first time in his career, ever since he uh, showed up in this company, is the new light heavyweight champion. So Unico has won, and now, wait, who are those two? Wait a minute. Wait, Wade Barrett and Alberto Del Rio? What's going on here? Wait a minute. What in the hell is going on here? I, I thought the, um, what, what's it called? I thought the League of Nations broke up, but I guess they reformed, albeit without Seamus. Well, you know, then again, Seamus is a jerk, so what else is new? But nonetheless, though, the League of Nations has returned, and, oh man, that's not good for everybody else. Uh, that That's a dangerous, dangerous group. And with Unico as, as their light heavyweight champion, oh my gosh. Well, in any event, uh, that's the end of our show. And uh, until then, 
Stay tuned for Heat, and then after that, we will have our super show after that. Until then, to Chew22, out.